so many people right there pushing up to the holidays, and it doesn't matter if you told them, "Hey, you're not going to be moving in until January, February." When it when November rolls around and that Christmas music comes on the radio, they're like, "Hey, y'all need to get it in gear. We got to get in this place." And so, um, you know, we we deal with that all the time. And that's funny. I wasn't even thinking about yours being a being a Hell Week finish, but it was. It was, <laughs> yeah. And, and and it was hard on us too because you got to understand. So we come from a 2,600 square foot house, right? We sold it. We moved. We sold a couple of houses at that time. So we moved to StarTex where we had this little 500 square foot. Used to be a beauty salon. So <laughs> in a year's time, me and my wife, we made it. We was going to make it to a rental property, right? Never thought I was going to live in it. <laughs> Never in my life. And it's nice. It was a nice little place. And we had to put a garage behind it just for my 17-year-old son, somewhere he could sleep and stuff <laughs> and have his stuff. And um, so we was there a year and a half. Right, and it it was tough, man. Cause, and then we move into this monstrosity. Yeah. So I'm like, God, I feel like I need to go stand in the closet or something because <laughs> I'm so used to the short roof. And 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 the next thing I'm looking up and it echoes. I mean, I got forty foot <laughs> ceilings, man. This thing is massive and it's echoing and everything. And and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, this is different. But I tell you what, it's one of the happiest days of my life to get out of that tiny home and get up there. But the the place is unbelievable. It's beautiful, man. Um, I tell you what, it it's it's un, it's really hard to describe what it feels like to come. And you know, you got all this land. I mean, we got point six eight, uh, uh, almost uh, half a mile road frontage. So you're driving through your past your property. You're like, man, I, this is this is a dream come true, right? And then you pull up here and you see this big beautiful house. You're like, oh my gosh. You know, and 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 the attention to detail, even with the, the cabinet drawers and and the stuff like it that y'all put into it, just makes it perfect. You know, um, definitely do it again with y'all guys. Absolutely, that makes me happy to hear. Yeah, makes me happy to hear because I, I know it's it's a it is a tedious process to go mm-hmm. through, and especially first time building. You know, it's it's it, everybody gets there. So like for us, a lot of times people get frustrated with us because we're kind of nonchalant when. You know, they're losing their mind, 10 alarm fire, and we're like, hey, everything's going to be okay, you know. And and I tell them, like, hey, I, I get it. This is the first conversation like this you ever had, but we have 45, mm-hmm. 60 of them a day, you know. And um, and sometimes, it, it look, we drop the ball too. Like, there's no there's no question. Like, we the amount of buildings we're doing, there is going to be someone somewhere, something goes wrong that, you know, we could have done something to prevent it or we could have done something different or did something better. And we're humans too, but – at the end, we always get people to what they wanted, and that that for us is the is, is kind of the the mission, you know, like turning impossible dreams into possible realities, and that's the way you do it. And so we just kind of have to grin and bear it sometimes. You, it, it actually it was not a, a really it was not a bad build at all. Like you're an ideal client, but mm-hmm. the so you know some people just personality is yeah. they just flip their lid and. There's no rationale inside of it, and it's not even personal. It's just I, they're so overwhelmed in the moment that they don't know how, any other way to communicate, right. and so you just live in it with them. So that's cool. So the the the, the ending you said is dripping like molasses. That's great. I'm gonna like I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as some kind of marketing thing moving forward. But it, that's true because it it the the one thing about building the way we build is how fast the beginning happens, mm-hmm. um, and. I, I, you know that that is the, the the distinguishing difference in us in a traditional build is just that first part. But once that's done, the rest of it is just like traditional construction. You got the same kind of um, you know interior finishes and everything happening. Now, granted, higher ceilings and all this kind of other stuff, but for the most part, you know you got the same doors inside of Barnuminium that you'd have inside of another home. You same mm-hmm. count ca- cabinets, countertops, things like that. So it kind of just goes along at like a traditional pace. Um, and, and we we see people have that same experience. We show up and they're like, "Oh, our concrete got poured," and then four days later, like, "We have a house." You yeah, know, <laughs> absolutely. So, um, but uh, well, let me ask you this: What do you feel like was the was the best part apart from moving day, like of of that experience? Well, I was sitting on my couch in the tiny home, <laughs> all five hundred square feet. Uh, my dog right beside me. And that morning, you called me. And you said, hey, man, how would you like to have some, was it Cypress Tongue and Groove Porches? And you said, okay, this is what we got to do to make it happen, but uh, it's going to look like a million, 
a million dollars, what you told me. And you know what? You're exactly right. It, it, a million dollars doesn't, doesn't describe it. I mean, it's like you go when you're at this house now. It's like when you walk out, it's a resort. It's got that resort feeling. So <clears throat> that was one of my best experiences because I knew what you had given up to make that happen. Yep. So that, that was awesome. Yeah, and that turned out incredible. The porches on your house. Well, I, me and my wife are in the process of starting a build, and I told her I was like, "I'm building the same porch, the same like mm -hmm. the, it's the it is a dream porch." Like I say, we came yeah. down there and doing that podcast, and the porches were done. The house is still under construction, but we were just I was sitting out there on that porch, and I was thinking to myself like, "This is paradise. This mm -hmm. is absolute paradise. Like it it is it is such a beautiful." thing and and the in the side and that's why I knew like um we just built a a similar porch on a little bit smaller scale for someone and we you know used all that rough cut cypress and put the tongue groove in there and I I was like man there's no way I'm fixing to build this house up here and not do this for him like <laughs> and I called Ross I was like we got to do this on if you're going to build a barn dominium you're going to have porches you got to go with the cypress yeah the tongue groove it just it totally makes it more of a home. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's definitely got the wow factor, especially oh, yeah. if you've got the if you've got the big premier porch areas, you know, cuz I think you got like and I got a lot of square foot of porch. You got 1500 square foot of porch. <laughs> well, we just now getting to enjoy it, right? Yeah. So we even got one that comes off our master bedroom. Yeah. So my wife will go out there and she'll drink she's got a little rocking chair, she'll drink coffee and uh she's all time deer spotting. So she she'll call me up work, man, I just had eight deer go through the backyard. So that that part of it's cool, but we just the weather just now got good enough so we can enjoy the porches. I mean, man, we didn't had uh, didn't cooked oysters, we didn't have people. We've done all kinds of stuff so far, but we're having a blast with it. Definitely makes the experience. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to the Barndo Show podcast. If you're watching on YouTube or wherever you're listening to this content, uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss an episode, and then be sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms at the Barndo Co. Super simple to find us. And then when you're ready to dive in a little more, maybe look around some of our available floor plan options or take a look at the gallery of our work, or maybe you're ready to connect with our team and explore what it looks like to build your dream barn dominium, you can visit us online at thebarndoco.com.